Hi, thanks for stopping back. I am going to show you a quick project today, only using two colors, wicker white and the folk art enamels and metallic gold, using a flat brush and a scruffy brush. Okay, on the first the first part I'm going to actually just do the um, design on a plate here, hopefully to give you a better view of what I'm painting. And I'm just taking a scruffy brush and just dabbing it across the plate just to give you some kind of an idea. Typically what I would do, and I'll show you this on the glass, is just do this on the bottom part of the goblet part of the glass. Now keep in mind too when you're when you're painting with glass paints that you follow the manufacturer's directions on the bottle. Adjust them according to your your oven and meaning that I typically will preheat my oven. I know my oven takes about 20 minutes or so to preheat, so my glasses will be in there, entered into the oven cold, and then preheat time will be the 20 minutes, and then the bake time they uh, suggest is 30 minutes at 350 degrees, so then I add the 20 to the 30, so my glassware is put the oven on totally in the oven for about 50 minutes. Your oven might vary, so definitely do it based upon your oven and not, you know, not what mine does, since they're all different. And also, make sure, very importantly, that you allow the glass to dry, and not dry, excuse me, um, cool off before you bring the glass out. It's the sudden temperature change that will cause glass to break. Now, again, with what I'm doing right now, it's just a simple kind of a rose design. Just something quick. You, know, you can use whatever type of flower you like. I just happen to do the roses. No particular reason just easy to do and I'm just doing like so very quickly and just kind of randomly doing them here. They can be in different directions. I leave a little bit of spacing to allow for the leaves. Now I'm doing this quickly like so I'm not going to take a whole lot of time. I'm just basically giving you ideas of designs that you could do or different ways that you could do your glass uh, when you're painting it. Like I said, I didn't, I turned that a little bit of a different direction. You know, your next one can be even more to the left. And you can do, you know, full full-fledged roses if you want, just rose buds if you want, um, different flower even, different colors. You know, if you're doing these for an event that you're having, that you're hosting, just you know, do them for the colors that fit what you're doing. I just picked the gold and the white because I know that it's a very uh, more formal combination something more for weddings and I tend to do a lot of wedding type projects with the hangers and used to do a lot of painted glassware but I mainly now just focus on the, the bridal hangers and then doing tutorials I'm just going to throw one last rose in here just to give it I'm going to finish off this end here. I just don't like my videos to be too awful long. As I say, I'm kind of rushing it, but I want to give you the gist of it. These are just quick little rose buds. So when you're going back and putting in the the actual leaves. I have a tendency to like to you know switch them around a little bit and do gold on the outside. And 
you can be kind of random with those if you want or do them all the same. Just be creative. That's all I, I say. Just be creative. Whoops. And you can rotate. I mean, if you want to have some have white on the edges, some have the gold, you can do that. Makes it more interesting. If you, uh, you know, mix it up a little bit, it can be very interesting. And like I said, I typically would allow this bottom part to dry a little bit more because you might want to actually put some leaves down in that part of it too. But with it being wet, I'm kind of being a little cautious about that. But it would be pretty, you know, having them down in there as well. Getting this thumb down in there. Again, just very random. Very. It's your project. Make it be your project and how you want it to look. I'm a true believer in that. Just because somebody says, this is what I would do, doesn't mean you have to do it that way. You know, use your own creativity and knock yourself out. And they can overlap, you know, because in life, flowers are not precise. I mean, as far as, you know, the petals and all that, they might overlap. Okay. Now, I'm going to move to the glass. And hopefully you were able to see that. On the glass, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it around the bottom. And like I said, I'm just doing this a very quick showing for you. So, obviously, you want to take more time on yours. And, and I, too, would, would do the same if I were creating those, you know, for my own use or to sell. Obviously I would would want them to be handled with care. Sorry, I'm still trying to get acclimated to doing videos, so I apologize if they're not up to perfection, but I'm working on it. I'll just, you know, like I said, randomly, I, again, am not a precise one as far as it's got to be, you know, two inches from the bottom or three inches from the bottom. You can even go down and do the whole stem if you want. I kind of like to do stems and and put things around the, the bottom of the stem. Just, just for fun. And like I said, I would get this even nicer around the stem but I'm just basically going to pat it around um, you know you can make it kind of like the plate was where it doesn't have to be a straight fine line it's just going to be in you know, just a random because in the end when you start painting on it, it doesn't really matter and do the same thing yeah, you want to do your little flower bud. And again, I, it would be really a lot neater on these if, if I weren't trying to get through this without having the video be two hours long. And like I said, on the glass, I'm probably going down more into the gold than I did on the plate. Um, but it still works, you know.
And on your painting, you can actually do different types of roses. If you're sticking with a rose pattern, as far as a full rose, you know, partially open rose, a rose bud. Clean off your brush in between. Okay. And I probably at this point would just put one more in. Um, When you're done painting, I would let these sit and air dry for at least an hour before baking. And then, um, again, follow the instructions if you have, uh, if you're using a different type of paint, because there are so many different types of paint on the market. This is Folk Art Enamels, it's primarily what I use for glass. Um, just. I've tested a lot of different products and that's what I find I like. And that's what you really need to do. Now, like see on this one, I kind of turned it a little bit. Let me show you. It's where you know it's not it doesn't have the gold edges. Honesty, though, I kind of like the gold edges better. But either way, is nice. You can put little stems in them if you want. they are overlapping a little bit as far as the, the leaves go. If you want to go down into the bottom, I mean you certainly can. Like I said, I would let it dry a little bit before doing so, personally. I don't have the time with trying to show the demonstration here. Or you can hit it with a blow dryer to force dry it a little bit if you want. Um, it depends on how, how much of a hurry you're in and finish off and be ready to just give it some time to dry and put it in the oven. Be ready to bake. And there you go. I guess I'll just very quickly again if I were to be doing it for myself, I would be taking more time with it and maybe doing it a little bit neater, but um, this is just a quick idea of something possible that you can do. And you see it on here with the plate. Alright, well, I appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to leave any comments and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do as far as uh, painting designs or anything like that. I'm up for any ideas you have. Constructive criticism is fine. Like I said, I'm, I've done a few videos, but I'm actually really trying to get started in this um, more constantly now as I'm uh, going on here. So I'd appreciate any information you can share. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for stopping by and have a good day.